two ordered the cheese omelet with a side of bacon. Is that you? Oh. It's cheddar cheese. No salt, no pepper. And bacon. Zoom. Is it raining? It is. I was wondering where my coffee went this morning. I set it down there when I went outside. On the channel. Just got back from the city. Let me show you what I got. It is cool out. It rained. Nah, not very much, but it rained. Hey, let's see here. Oh, oh, what do we got in here? Well, eight sheets of coated T111, 18 two by fours, six two by sixes, uh, or four, I don't know. One steel door with frame and two windows. We'll get them out in a minute. Take a look. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Well, hello, Miss Telly Jackson. All girl dogs' last name are Jackson. She says, no, it ain't. I bet you're calling your wife or your husband over right now going, he did it, Myrtle. He, he did it. He really got the stuff. He's really gonna do this. Yep. All right. I went from four windows to two. Don't need any more than two, because them things ain't cheap. We're gonna put a window there. It's just about that size. Might be a little bit smaller. We're gonna put a window there. But before we put any windows in, we're gonna we're gonna put the whole T111 sheets up. I got enough to go here. Then we'll cut out for the windows. I'm going to have to do some reframing in here. Uh, not quite sure how I'm going to do this because I got this lip. I could just add a 2 by 4 and then, I don't know. I'm going to get it all tore off. We'll probably just leave that on and put a 2 by 4 there and go straight over it. And this is all getting walled off. And I've got a wider door than what this door is. But it's going to all be enclosed here. I can add a window later. In fact, I do have one of those skinny windows in the shed. Like I have up front. I may just put that there. We'll see if it'll fit. And I think it will. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I don't have any keys on me to go in the shed. And... Uh, I'm going to get all this metal off. I'm going to start on this tomorrow. Maybe today. I might start pulling this off today, this afternoon. I want to run another out, couple more outlets. I'll just tie off of this one. Put an outlet here. Maybe put an outlet here. I want to get all the framing done, all this done. Then I'll go get some concrete. Maybe Monday. I'll have to dig this out a ways. I'm going to pour just coat and pour concrete in there. Get it as even as I can with the rest of this. And eventually we'll put in some vinyl plank flooring in here. Before I go crazy with it, I want to make sure I've got every every water tight, everything watertight. Now this is pretty good up here. It doesn't leak. I, there is, and I still, I could never find it. There was a small pin drop leak that comes right in here and that's about it and then over here I already know what to do with this one I've got to put a piece of flashing up there again but that's coming off I'm gonna go with one of these ceiling fans like I have in the shop and like I got in the house they have they have several different styles of them so I'm probably gonna go with something different in here because putting these wall I mean it's still gonna get plenty of light from window there and a window there they're basically pretty close to that size they're a little bit little bit narrower but they're just as tall close this off you know 
I thought of different ways to do it. Maybe I should put a window there, put a window there. I could do that. But I don't know. I think it would look better with just the two in the middle. That would look better to me. And you could still, you're still going to have a view out there. And let's go take a look at these windows again. And you can open them up. They're just like the windows in the house. They have screens on them. And I got a pretty good deal on these. Well, yeah, there's a screen window. That'll open up. So, that's cool. The door is just like the other two doors in there. Steel door. No windows. Don't want any windows in it. Uh, they just break the windows and they can get in. But I don't, I don't need that. And a whole bunch of 2x4s now. Oh, yeah, there's some more of those. Now I got enough lumber, I got enough of this T111 to build them, to build these girls a doghouse. All I'm going to do is I'm going to build a doghouse with these barrels inside of it. And we're going to probably put it right in here. And then I'll run some electric. I'm going to drill some holes through the back of the wood and run all their, their heated uh, dog beds in there. And then I'm going to insulate it. So it's going to be a Big week ending Dogtober. I'm going to be doing a build. Shouldn't three days maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Some days I can work longer. Some days I can't. That T111 is going to kick my butt. But I could have got that kind. But most of the house is the wide stuff. Well, good morning, uh, Lily. Yeah. I don't care if it matches that or not, but I got the wide stuff and it's coated. So I can put it up right now. I don't have to worry about painting it immediately and it, it's waterproof, weatherproof. You know, I like this screen patio and everything, but the weather here just, you know, you just, it, sometimes it rains so darn hard. It, it, it rarely came in there, but it is mostly it's pulling up in this corner and it's coming up in that dirt and then it floods the whole thing so I think putting concrete in there and then digging digging in here now if I remember right I did already dig that once and I filled it with this big stone that's gonna be real fun getting out so I put a little French drain in there and I got enough lumber to build this out and hang guttering I don't think that was most of the issue, but it was contributing to it because this would drip down here. You can see I've got this piece of, uh, that's not actually guttering, that's center uh, ridge cap for a roof, metal roof. But it would, you know, get most of it out. Now we only get rains like that, you know, like the times it flooded. That was a unusual week. You don't get rains like that all the time, but when this was the old laundry room, it would flood. It would flood, but it had, it didn't have all this dirt here either. So I'm thinking this is going to help. And the French drain that I did starts about right there. And it comes right here. And then right about here, there's a big joint and it goes off that way. And then it comes straight here along this line here. And then it turns right here where you see all this gravel and goes right down there. So I think with the guttering, I'll, I'll fix that. It will be watertight. And adding that T111, that's going to bring that out some. Not much, but... We're, we got that to get started on uh, Monday. So I got everything I need here to do that other, other than insulation, uh, whatever I'm going to put inside on the walls. I don't know yet. But I, I think before I do that, I want to make sure I'm good and watertight. So, yeah, man. What else we got? Ow. I don't remember what's underneath behind. I don't know if I frame the whole thing with two by sixes like this down there. I don't remember. I'll have to pull one off or go look at the old video. 
see how I frame this. But I did get 2x6s to reframe it for the new windows. I kind of like this deep, uh, you know, this deep pocket that it has for the windows. So it, that'll look nice. It'll kind of give it that bay window look. And this, I'll pull all this off, is what I'm going to do, is pull all this down. And I'm going to do like I did in the shop. They're going to go in between the rafters. And then that leaves me, you know, otherwise, I'm if I add anything to this, I mean, look here at this door. I don't have a lot of room to play with. So I'm going to stick that up in there. That's the way it should be anyway. I just did this. You know, for when the puppies and that were coming. I think that's when I did that. But I can't be sure. It, or it was after. I don't remember. And that was like almost two years ago. It's hard to believe, ain't it? So what do you think, man? And this side. I'm taking those down. Because I have enough... Uh, T111 to do the whole thing all the way to the top. I'm going to put some flashing. I do have some flashing there, I see, but it's not doing much good. Yeah, it's doing all right, I guess. All right, just to get a visualization, I just stuck a screw in there. You can see they're the same size and a little smaller, but the, it isn't going to make much difference. It's still letting in tons of light. You can see how we can see out of it. I've got the shades down. This is going to be solid wall. I do have the option later. Now, I just I didn't want to spend the money. That I mean, if you haven't priced windows lately, they are not cheap. So save the little money. Can always add this later. If I want to go get two more of these later on, if I hit the lottery, whatever. Oh, I've got the option that I could put one here and one here. I think in the long run we will do that because that will look really nice with four windows. But for now, I'm just going to start with two. And, you know, I'm still going to have the same, same thing. These are really nice, by the way. Uh, there's temporary something in there. I don't really want to tug on them much because I just got them held in by one screw. And, of course, these are going to go pushed in from the outside. I've got the, uh, the flashing tape to go in there we're gonna won't have to do a whole lot of framing uh it's pretty pretty much put one maybe on the bottom here and i don't know man it's pretty close <laughs> pretty close we'll just have to put one out here maybe go all the way up against that one same thing here and then run my two by six up there uh yeah, I think one of those, it just put another one on there, it should fit perfect. I believe that'll look nice. And I always do got the option later to put one here if I want. But I'm going to go ahead and frame it in like a wall. And yeah, that little skinny window, I don't, I don't think I want to put that there. Because it kind of defeats the purpose of having a steel door, extra security. And all I got to do is bust the window, reach around and open it. And I don't want that. So... We'll just leave this wall solid. Now, I do got the option later, you know. I do know of another room that these two, that these exercise uh, the bike, and I don't know about that. But, what are you doing, Tilly? I don't think Melly or Lily would mind if I brought them in here into the dog apartment. That weight machine here. As long as she's got room for her bed, she ain't going to care. But I don't know. I need work. I got, I got work I want to get done here in here, too. Get some walls on. So that's an option later. She's outside. With that exercise bike, I don't even really need the treadmill. But I really haven't done anything with that much to see if it's going to mess with my knees or not. So maybe deleting on this. Or, you know, and the other option is that a couple of these can go in there. What do you want? I'm making a movie. You're always a movie hog. But I definitely am going to be using the weight machine. So, for now, this will be an exercise room. 
But if I do the floor, that's going to have to come out of here anyway for at least until I get the floor done. But this, 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 this is going to be done ne next week. Well, this is the last talking video, guys. So, what do you think, man? Let's go outside and look at that. You know. Keep in mind, we still got the screens and all that on there. But let's get back a little bit. Oh. I think that's going to look good, man. Yeah. Now I want to go get two more. Woo. But those windows, I looked at them, I went to Lowe's first, and I looked at pretty much similar to that. And then I went to the construction place where I've been going to for 10 years. And those were 150 bucks. And they were about 450 bucks at Lowe's. And double pane, plain glass, you know. So you can't beat that. I think I paid 190 for the door. And if I would have got the T111 with him, it would have been $7 a sheet less. Let me see if I can get you a better look at this T111. Now, this stuff got is coated. So it's, it's better than what I put on before. I don't know if you can get a good look at it or not. Let's go over here. See, it has a, like a coating on it. And then, of course, I'll paint it, you know, the, to match the color. Heck, I might like that color and paint the rest of the house to match that. I don't know. But here's a better look at the door. It's just a plain Jane door. And, every, you know, it's complete. It's got the... Does it? Yeah, yeah, it's got everything. You just stick it in, shim it up. I'm going to have to reframe the door because this is wider and taller, I think. I don't know if it's taller. But... That's what we're doing, starting tomorrow. As soon as they bring them sheaves in over there at the church, I'm going to start sawing. But a lot of that I can do even if they're in church. It ain't going to make much noise. Thanks for watching Happy Trails. Where are you going, Tilly?